I'm Myrna Campbell, I'm involved with Ipsa Daisy Animal Rescue and this is my niece's house and she started up the command station and put out a request on Facebook with one message or two messages and it has snowballed. <laughs> People have been fabulous, they've been dropping off food, water, juice, insect repellent, gloves, water, rakes, you name it, it's been coming in. It's heartwarming, it's overwhelming and um, there's no word to describe the emotion that goes around. And yeah, people are just showing up. My name and email is Marie Hermanson, and uh, the email is marie.hermanson at me.com. Oh, see a need, fill a need. Uh, people just needed help, and so we had to get organized quickly and start delegating and um, get things moving because, you, you know, obviously time is of the essence here. So uh, I just put a call out for help, and people responded, and it's been great. And we just tried to be as organized as possible to make best use of available resources. I, you know, I've done a bit of work with Habitat for Humanity. I'm well traveled, so I've seen a lot, but I, uh, this is the first actual natural disaster I've been a part of. How did you put the word out? Um, you know, I started with a Facebook and Twitter plea and emails to everyone I knew and I just uh, let them know that, yeah, help was needed, this is what is needed and please show up and we'll use you. Um, well, I distributed, I spread the word among the people on Bow Crescent, um, let them know that whatever they needed to come here, let us know and that we would send people to help them and that's been working well. It's just really it needed to be done so I got myself uh, pretty to it doesn't look like it right now but at the time I had myself at a pretty good spot so um, you know we got pumped out so we just started pumping and pumping other houses and um, kind of just filling you know each block is kind of a day behind the other so we're just so in the, in the time that you're trying to clean out your house huh. you got this volunteer organization set up and started well I have had a lot of help I've had great support from you know my neighbors have helped get it together and you know I've got some really good strong uh, family and volunteers helping to run the station and it's it's going really well delegate 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 <laughs> oh well I don't know yeah, can you help yourself yeah, have some water and pop and snacks too. help yourself Oops, the Daisy Animal Rescue will um, help anybody out that is in need uh, for dog food or cat food. Um, if they need emergency um, foster home um, help, let us know. We can try and do our best with that as well. Call, to contact the website number www.oopsadaisy.com. Uh, Lori Lauder, and I live just west of the city by Springbank Airport. And uh, I have a bad back and I can't help physically so I've been searching how to help other ways and I found this group and I pushed my way in. <laughs> I drove around yesterday with some food and water trying to just distribute it everywhere. There's just so many volunteers, like it's amazing. You'd wonder if people are working because there's so many people in the communities. I was in Mission yesterday and it's piled with people helping and the food, the barbecues. It's just absolutely amazing to see the communities come together. It, it's wonderful. It's, it really brings out the spirit and makes what Calgary's about. It's, it's so great to see everybody out helping each other, bringing the communities back together. and. Uh, yeah, just great, great work on everybody. It's been hard because uh, for a lot of the time I've just felt like it hasn't been enough. And um, but we're trying. So. What would you like to say to the Calgarians? Thank you so much. Please register your names and emails because we'd like to thank you when we're done. So.